It's a blessing in disguise. Bill Wiegand's petition clipboard sits at the Horry County Republican headquarters among a row of others lined with signatures. These candidates are among the more than 250 statewide who were kicked off the ballot when the state Supreme Court determined they didn't file their financial paperwork correctly. They must have the signatures of at least 5% of registered voters in the district in which they're running. My number one focus is until the day that they have to be handed in is to just kind of go through and try and verify as much of the information that we've received as possible. Wiegand says he has already started that process by verifying his signatures himself one by one. You check their voter ID, you check their um, date of birth, and that was all checked. That, that's monotonous. That was the worst part of this whole deal. Both candidates say the silver lining to this election chaos is doing the legwork themselves. It's, it certainly gives you a little bit more exposure to people by going door to door and, and, and letting people know who you are, what your mission is. Yes, because those are going to be the people that's voting for me. And while some may think turning in those signatures would bring relief, Candidates are already looking towards the fall. Sure, but it's not over. We've got a lot of work to do. November 6th, we better have our ducks in gear.